<clears throat> so we got this uh, Bulgarian ammunition imported by what is that? Uh, Global Ordnance, and this is made by Arsenal, the same guys who make those high quality AKs, like the SLR type stuff. Um, it has a different kind of case than you normally see with the Tula type stuff, and it has this locker sealant. So this ammo is not corrosive, by the way, in case you're wondering, because it doesn't say it on any of the websites. And I haven't. So, got my SKS here. I'm gonna load this up real quick. All right. Loads fine. Careful, this box. We got our little target down there. As you can see, he's about to get a taste of his own medicine. So the main reason you might want to get some of this ammo is because uh, the Russian ammo is now banned because of Sleepy Joe, and uh, this stuff is actually about, it's about 35 cents a round, and it's not from Russia, so this is a pretty good alternative, and it's actually higher quality than the Tula stuff right there. And, uh, we're going to put some rounds through the AK. So again, this is made by Arsenal. You can see right there, made by Arsenal. It's just imported by, imported in box by Global Ordnance. I'm pretty sure there's also another company, Ammo Inc. They also import it. Or I guess you could just say it's Global Ordnance branded. It's made in Bulgaria, steel cased, 122 grains, non-corrosive. FPS from the muzzle is about 2400 FPS and currently from what I can tell this is pretty much the cheapest 762 by 39 you can get right now even compared to the Russian stuff because obviously because they can't import it anymore well technically they can until their permits expire but that's not going to be long so once that's gone I'd say this is a good alternative Bulgarian ammo. You can buy this at like Atlantic Firearms. I bought mine from Palmetto State Armory. You can also buy it from Global Ordnance themselves, but for some reason they charge a dollar more per per box than everyone else does. And that's all there is to say. This is some good ammo. Get you some.